Hi guys, today is Saturday, March 16th. It's 87 degrees Fahrenheit, it's 3 p.m. We are going to be driving from the heart of Fort Lauderdale, south on Interstate 95 to Miami. Right now, we are on Marina Mile Boulevard, State Road 84, but we are headed off to get on Interstate 95. It is the height of spring break, so there could be traffic along Interstate 95, but we won't know until we get there. Right now we're on an access road waiting to merge onto Interstate 95. We are crossing underneath Interstate 595 which runs west to east and east to west from Fort Lauderdale to it ends in around Weston. Oh you see the uh, that's the airport you see a uh, plane uh, just going in for a landing. To our left is the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. We're literally adjacent to the runway right now. And as we expected, we thought there might be some traffic along Interstate 95 heading south to Miami because it is the height of spring break with a lot of people on vacation. It is fairly cloudy today. The next three exits that you see, Sterling Road, Sheridan Street, and Hollywood Boulevard, are all for the city of Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood also has some beautiful beaches. We are going to stay in the regular lanes. As you can see, on the left is an entrance for the express lanes. The express lanes are toll lanes that you pay an additional fee via either using a SunPass transponder or EasyPass transponder. The price fluctuates depending upon the time of day and the day of the week that you're traveling. Oh, I guess it's sun pass. 
pass only. So correct, correction on that. I thought that you might be able to use Easy Pass, which is a pass used widely in the Northeast in New York, but it looks like it's um, not letting you use that uh, yet. Maybe they'll add that in the future. SunPass is easy to purchase if you are planning on traveling to the Fort Lauderdale and Miami area. They do sell them at most of the grocery stores and you just use a credit card and you register an account and you can use it and save money on tolls. There's traffic, it is moving. The posted speed limit is sixty five miles per hour. traveling just under 50 miles per hour currently. Exits Pembroke Road and Hallandale Beach Boulevard are for the city of Hallandale, which is still in Broward County. Hallandale Beach. south on Interstate 95, headed from Fort Lauderdale to Miami on a Saturday. Boulevard exit is also another casino. The Gulf Street Park casino.
it'll be crossing into Miami-Dade County soon. From Broward County. And here's a sign coming up, entering Miami-Dade County right now. The first exit in Miami-Dade County is exit 16 Ives Dairy Road, the city of Aventura. Aventura has a beautiful mall, the Aventura Mall. We have visited on a few of our live streams, if you would like to check that out. It's a beautiful mall with lots of high-end stores and eating area, plenty of parking, even a children's playground and a big outdoor slide. This might seem like heavy traffic, but it's actually pretty normal and usual because one of the lanes is ending, so everyone has to merge. Temperature on the car thermometer is now 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gone up by two degrees. Ninety degrees Fahrenheit is slightly normal, uh, higher than normal for mid-March. Again, this might seem like a lot of traffic, but at this particular exit, it's more normal than not uh, because of the lean ending and everyone having to merge into the right because the left lane ends. left is the express lane. Which is a toll lane that you pay for an additional charge.
haven't driven this exact same route entering from Marina Mile Boulevard on Interstate 95 and traveling south on 95 to Miami. It can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes. We've seen it all. Weekdays it varies. If you go during off-peak times, like not during rush hour on a weekday, you can get down from the heart of Fort Lauderdale to downtown Miami in definitely um, 20 minutes or so, but if there's an accident or something happens, it could take a lot longer. The weekends, it again, depends on the time of year. This being spring break, we did expect more traffic than usual, so this is seems fairly normal for mid-March. Again, we're not going to get on the express lane. We just want to show you what it would, the normal travel time during spring break on a Saturday would be. So we'll stay in these regular lanes. You might see the sign that South Beach curfew is in effect midnight through 6 a.m. This is a new rule that the police instituted and the government because last year during spring break in Miami there was a lot of um, incidents, violence and so forth that they felt necessary to still a cur curfew. There's also checkpoints for you to enter into Miami Beach. like this drive because it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty palm trees to look at. Before Interstate 95 was built, there was a uh, fewer options. You either had to take US-1 to travel from north to south from Fort Lauderdale to Miami or A1A which is otherwise known as Beachfront Avenue. That's another road that travels sort of parallel to 95 at this point uh, heading from north to south. Those are flyovers for connector highways that will take you from east to west. Golden Glades Interchange, I believe is the name. not familiar with driving in South Florida there's a lot of flyovers like this you can see more coming up and since they built the express lanes there's additional flyovers just for the express lanes as well
James and I have been coming down to South Florida for work assignments and uh, various vacations for quite a number of years. So we remember when there was no express lanes. <laughs> Again, today is Saturday, March 16th. It is a height of spring break time. So there are vacationers down here, perhaps adding to the traffic that there normally would be on a Saturday. We are in Miami-Dade County now. next exit is for Opalaka Boulevard that will take you to Opalaka which is a neighborhood in Miami which we've explored uh, on recorded video it's listed um, it's known as one of the more dangerous neighborhoods of Miami but we've never personally had a problem there it has some interesting architecture which we like. The current speed limit is 60 miles per hour. It will vary along Interstate 95. It can be 65, it can be 60, it can be 55. So you just have to keep, you know, your eye out for the posted speed limit. the city of North Miami. They're still posting signs for South Beach curfew, still in effect, midnight through 6 a.m. Again, that is due to the problems that there were last year during spring break. The city of Miami and the authorities and police department have instituted a curfew.
next exit is from Miami Shores. North Miami also has very nice beaches. And there's a, plenty of parking in North Miami if you're interested in going to the beach and you don't want to go all the way to South Beach, Miami Beach. North Miami also has some beautiful beaches. Unless you take the express lanes, this is a toll-free road, Interstate 95, so there is no toll when you stay in these regular lanes. The majority of exits also have entrances back on, so if you need to get off to get gas or anything like that, you can easily get back on in most cases. downtown Miami six miles and the airport seven miles Miami Beach eight miles so we're getting there guys this is pretty normalish traffic for a Saturday, especially during the height of tourist season, spring break in particular. It's not surprising to us. As I mentioned before, the trip from Fort Lauderdale to downtown Miami along Interstate 95 can take as quick as 20 minutes or as long. <laughs> There's been times it's over an hour and 20 minutes uh, because of traffic and an accident or something like that. But this is pretty typical. There's been times where we've, the traffic is even heavier or due to an accident and we'll detour off of Interstate 95 because there are some roads that parallel the highway. They're, they're stop and go traffic. There would be lights, but sometimes it's actually faster to get off the highway and deal with the stop and go traffic with the lights rather than just sit and when nothing's moving. But today it's, it's moving, so we're gonna stay along Interstate 95. You can see the skyline of Miami starting to appear the larger buildings. These are the large buildings that line A1A that you see for the most part in the distance now. If you're going to be heading to the airport, the 
this is a way that you can take. You get ex off exit four. It's a toll road. 112 will head west. It will take you right to Miami International Airport. Again, signs indicating that the South Beach curfew is in effect from midnight to 6 a.m. That's a special new rule that they've put in place to curtail any problems that could arise during spring break here in Miami Beach. Now you can see the skyline of downtown Miami even more visible. To your right is Interstate 195. 195 is one of the causeways that will take you to Miami Beach. So if you're interested in going to the beach, you want to go to Miami Beach, this is one of the three bridges that will take you directly into Miami Beach from Interstate 95. So this is 195. You would be getting off now at exit 4. We are not going to get off. We are going to continue south on Interstate 95 and take a different causeway, 395. Because this is a really pretty view. We, love, we like staying and showing you 395 because you can really see the buildings lining downtown Miami. recent years has been a real building boom. Many of these taller buildings did not exist um, 10 years ago, certainly not 20 years ago. So although the exit for 195 was to the right, the exit for 395 to head to Miami Beach is on the left so if you are heading to the beach make sure that you get into your left lanes in order to exit for 395 for the Miami via tunnel to Miami Beach It is currently still 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a little bit, you know, warmer than normal for this time of year, mid-March. You see a lot of construction right now. Um, they're building more like flyovers and more express lanes to get to Miami Beach. That's why you see all this construction, it's a lot of construction. Two left lanes to get to Miami Beach for Interstate 395. So remember to stay to the left. If you wanted to go to uh, downtown Miami, you would stay to the right. You would get off at Biscayne Boulevard. You can see more buildings um, in addition to the highway um, construction and the overpass and the new bridge that they're building. There's a lot of new buildings going up in downtown Miami as well.
Adrian Arch uh, Center is on your left. That's the Performing Arts Center in Miami. On the right is the Frost Science Museum. It has a planetarium. And there's also the Perez Art Museum, which is Art Museum of Miami, Modern and Contemporary Art. This again is not a toll road. This is 395, which will take you to Miami Beach. The Port of Miami, the cruise terminal, and also the container terminal is to your right. In fact, there's a lot of cruise ships currently docked. Royal Caribbean, Oh, including the, the world's largest cruise ship, the uh, Icon of the Seas, is also docked today. We are going to be getting off this first exit, the Children's Museum. To go to Miami Beach, all you would do is continue on this road, 395, and it will take you right into Miami Beach. All in all, the traffic really wasn't bad today, and <laughs> hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to our channel, give us a subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.